Hey, so I wanted to share a quick story with you in regards to a particular seller who gave me a call in regards to trying to sell one of his rental properties. Now, the situation with this particular property is that he's got tenants in there that he prefers not to know that he's selling the property because he doesn't want them to get afraid and quickly move out in case he decides he does not want to sell. So he basically called me up and said, hey, listen, I'm thinking about selling. That's the key word. I'm thinking about selling one of my rental properties. Um, I kind of would like to know what I can get for it before I fully decide what I want to do. Uh, but the problem is, is I can't let anybody go into the house because if anybody goes into the house, then my tenants are going to know that I'm looking to sell it. And if I don't sell it, I want to make sure the tenants stay there and I have a feeling that if they think I'm going to sell, they may pick up and move. So to avoid losing my tenants, um, I need you to, you know, let me know what you would be willing to purchase the property for. But the big hiccup here is uh, you can't see the house. <laughs> so basically, long story short, we had to do all sorts of due diligence on the home uh, without getting the opportunity to go inside. Um, you know, luckily we were able to have a conversation with this particular landlord who could give us a little bit of information on that particular house. Um, we were able to pull county records to verify some of the information and then of course we do our own due diligence behind it, at which point we are able to give him a sight unseen offer. Of course it's not my favorite offer to give, I prefer to see what the house looks like, but in this particular case, I totally understand what that particular landlord's situation, and so I was happy to oblige. So, you know, if you've got a situation, a scenario like this, where, you know, you've got a house that you want to sell, but maybe someone is living in there and you don't want them to know that uh, you're going to sell it, um, you know, believe it or not, we can put together an offer based off of a good conversation with you, based off of county records, based off of other information that we can pull up from county, and in many cases, we can give you a pretty good offer um, on a sight unseen house. Of course, again, it's not our favorite offer to give, um, but if you really need a offer and you really need somebody to be able to give you that offer on a property that's sight unseen, you know, feel free to give us a call. Have a, we'll have a conversation. Um, you know, you've got nothing to lose. Uh, at the very worst, you know, if we're not able to give you a sight unseen offer due to maybe some random circumstances, uh, you've lost nothing by giving us a call. But in most cases, uh, and we do it all the time, believe it or not, where we are, we find ourselves uh, dealing with sellers who are in situations that we just don't get access to the home. Uh, there could be different reasons. Um, this particular reason was a landlord uh, not wanting his tenants to know that he was selling. Um, we've purchased homes where they've been close to occupancy by the county or by the health department for whatever reason. And so we have to purchase these houses basically sight unseen. Um, you know, we do get to see the exterior in many cases, but we don't get to see the interior. But believe it or not, we can still put up a pretty good offer uh, if this is a situation that you find yourself in. So, if you have any questions, please feel free to give us a call anytime. Our contact information is here down below, and we hope to hear from you soon. Thank you.